You're telling me to relax? When I make a mistake, I actually get happy. Why don't you relax? Number, I don't know what my hand was showing. I treat my mistakes like gold. Hi everyone, Steffi here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've watched my videos before, then you guys already know that I make everything fashion. But in today's video, I wanted to break the ice and do something a little bit different. So you've clicked on this video probably because you are looking for some tips on how to improve your YouTube videos. Before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm not an expert. But I must say that I do spend an uncomfortable amount of time on YouTube and on studying it. Let's just say that this video is also a little bit of an experiment for my future self. This video is for someone that is just starting out that has been thinking about doing video but that doesn't necessarily know where to start. That being said, here are some tips that I put together that will help you gradually improve your YouTube videos. I have some notes so you guys can actually see my progress. No, no, no. I'm going to show you guys my screw ups. And believe me, it's been a whole process. I always knew growing up that I've always wanted to be on TV. And I remember the day where I begged my mom to actually take me to an agency so that I can audition, so I can do modeling and acting. This was at a time that Tyra Banks was at her peak. Go through it, just have fun with it. Use your personality, be you. And Naomi Campbell was everywhere. But when you think about it, one is she never not around. America's Next Top Model was on the come up and no Knowing that my mom was Caribbean, my mom was always like, school first. Find yourself a corner to sit down because modeling ain't it. If it doesn't bring you money, honey, it's just not gonna fly by me. If you're Caribbean, you know what I mean. So literally, I went to university and fast forward to today and here I am making videos. Now let's get into the tips. Tip number one, get your comfort game up. This one is all about trying to get as comfortable as you can with the camera. Just like that, right? Wrong. Telling you to get comfortable in front of the camera is pretty much like telling you to relax during an argument. You know you're right, you know you got all your points down to a T, yet this person is telling you to relax? You're telling me to relax? Why don't you relax? No, I'm fine. Now, this is coming from experience, but it's not much different from getting your game face on for you competitive players out there. But getting into the zone, well, for everyone else, I guess. Focus on what you are doing because the zone is that little area of zen in your mind where you can actually put all your energy into what you're actually saying. It is the most awkward thing, talking to a device that doesn't talk back. I get it. But trust that you will learn over time. Worst case scenario, you will get comfortable talking to yourself. Number two, learn to let go. All you A-type perfectionists out there, put your hands up. Okay, now put your damn hands down. Let's be real. Making videos sometimes puts you in a position where you want to be perfect, but no, no, no. Or you want that because you think that everybody is watching. If you've never been on stage, on a set, or any public type of situation, then it's definitely difficult to be comfortable doing this. Listen, it's just a head game. Do not give people room to get in your mind. People will comment, dislike, and say nasty things sometimes. And if you allow people to project their fears onto you, you won't live. But I'm not perfect, no one's perfect. You do you, boo. If you believe in what you were doing, keep going. Number three, accept and embrace your mistakes. You gotta find a way to embrace yourself because if you don't, you're gonna be too hard on yourself and there's gonna be tons of content that you just are not able to see for yourself. Before, a mistake on camera would make me super upset. I make grammatical errors, I say things backwards sometimes. Filming can take hours only because I would redo a mistake over and over again until I get it right or just completely edit it out. Today, I can proudly say that when I make a mistake, I actually get happy. I find a creative way to add them to my videos, to capture you guys' attention, and to be creative. I treat my mistakes like gold. For an example, I add them to my video intros. So I would say just look within the details, even your mistakes, learn from them. It's a type of therapy. Tip number four, be yourself and do not be apologetic for it. A common mistake that I've always made even in my acting school days. I always apologize for every little thing. I always think that I'm in everyone's way and my agent would constantly remind me, stop apologizing for every little thing that you're doing because you're being yourself. I feel like a part of me was doing that too because I was working so hard on making my personality shine and sometimes it is so hard to make your personality shine on camera and that's only because you are self-aware of everything that's going on around you. If you have a million eyes on you, you're gonna think 
think? Is my hair sticking up? Is my shirt on crooked? Do I look okay? Do I sound okay? A whole bunch of things are gonna go through your mind. And if you really think about it with that problem being around, there's not much room for you to let loose. So therefore, for your personality to shine. I know that you guys may not see it, but when I watch my footage back and I'm like, what was I talking about? Why did I not just let loose and say what was on my mind? For example, watch this. I like, I feel like I was totally holding back in this clip. We are welcoming a new year and welcoming a new year. Hello everyone, it's Steffi. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on a new year. Welcoming a new year. Hello everyone, it's am. Cause I really don't know how we're gonna do this. I can give you guys a little preview. Like, girl, why? Like, there's nothing to apologize about yourself. The best way to practice getting rid of that is to just let the camera roll and just speak rubbish. You will feel free. Then you let the power of editing come to play. Editing makes everything just come together. With editing, I find that it gives me the chance to review my past material and also see where there's room for growth. No matter how good you are, there's always room to improve your creativity. And this is coming from someone that actually does artwork. I draw, I paint, and over the years, I have seen my work just improve, whether I'm trying to improve it or not. When you first start your channel, you will feel like you cannot keep up, and that's normal, but you ultimately wanna get to a point where you can talk about your content on a whole other level. Listen, I don't care how many times you have to put that video on replay, let that camera roll, and you just gotta do it. Just do it! Let's calm down now, Steph. Tip number five, take your time. Yes, the more content that you put out there, the better it is for your channel. It can drive in more traffic, ultimately help your channel grow, but I believe in quality versus quantity. If you listen to any expert about any social media platform, they will tell you that they want quality, relevant, and consistent content, but you need to take your time. You might want it all, and even for things to blow up, this is a marathon. After giving you guys these five tips, how do you feel? Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment down below. By the way, we are just getting started. There's a part two of this video coming up. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to like and also subscribe to my channel for more content. Hope that you stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching. Bye.